Hello everyone! Welcome back to Sunday School for this week. I hope you all had, an, had a fantastic week. For today's Sunday School lesson, we are going to be talking about Peter's denial from John 18. We know that Peter was one of Jesus' very close followers, and in Matthew 26, he even said that he would never betray Jesus. It says, And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered him, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this, is, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. But Peter is human, and humans mess up. That's why Jesus had to come to this world in the first place, so that he could save us from the mess that we had made of ourselves and the mess that we've made of this world. And because Jesus had said that he was God's son, many people wanted him arrested and even killed. And so then, Jesus was betrayed and he was arrested. And then we read in John chapter 18. The servant girl at the door said to Peter, You are not one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the servants and the officers had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were standing and warming themselves. Peter, was also, Peter also was with them, standing and warming himself. And then a little bit later it says, Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. So they said to him, You also are not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked him, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter denied it, and at once a rooster crowed. So when this happened, a ser First, we had a servant girl approach Peter and accused him of being a follower of Jesus, and he said, I am not. Then, shortly after, someone else that was standing by the fire where Peter was warming himself said, Aren't you one of those disciples? But Peter said, I am not. And then again, another man noticed him and said, I thought I saw you in the garden. And Peter denied it again. And right when the rooster crowed, Peter instantly knew what he had done. Do you remember that verse back in Matthew that we already read where Jesus told Peter that this would happen? It was because Jesus already knew that Peter would mess up. But Jesus chose to love him anyway. And that is some good news because we mess up all the time. Maybe we don't do it the same way Peter did. and Maybe we do. Maybe sometimes we do deny him. Jesus says in Matthew 10, 33, But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. And that's kind of a scary thought. That really makes us think about how we um, live our lives for Jesus on earth, right? But if we skip ahead in Peter's, to, in Peter's story to chapter 21 in John, verses 15 through 17, it says, when they had, this is after Jesus had um, died and then resurrected again, he, came, he appeared to his disciples. And when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. And after this, Peter went on to share the story of Jesus to others. And we can know that he was forgiven. And through this story, we know that there, 
So lots of dangers that come with denial. And we can also know that there is forgiveness that is found in Jesus. I hope you all enjoyed this story. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. All right, bye.